What is happening, everybody? So last time we did the kitchen, we did the distillery, and we set up a manager's office. Um, I think what we're going to do today is build a wall. I need to build a nice little perimeter over here. We have some idlers, so they can start carrying the rock up there. But yeah, I think we're going to show you how to do that. Uh, but first thing we need to do is we need to build a mechanics workshop. So we're going to go hit B for build, W for workshop, and let's go down. Oh, we already built a mechanics workshop. Where is it? Mason Mechanic. There we go. All right, so we're going to go to the Mechanics Workshop. I forgot we already built this. We're going to hit A to add a new task, and we're going to hit T to make rock mechanisms. And let's queue up about um, about five or six of those, because I think um, the only person who's a mechanic is uh, our the manager, Jolt. And so um, he should, if he's done counting, he's going to go over there and start. Yep, there he goes. He's grabbing a rock. Uh, hit the K button to follow him. But he's right here if you want to see him. We're going to follow him real quick. It's fun to follow dwarfs around. But yeah, so he's in the middle of the screen. He's taking that rock over to the mechanic shop, and he's going to be building little rock mechanisms. And what we're going to be able to use those rock mechanisms for is to build a drawbridge uh, within our wall, and also we're going to set up some traps once we kind of get the, some cages built. But at least we're going to start building some rock mechanisms. So we'll go ahead and unfollow from him right there. And let's go back up. And let's go to B to build. Let's go to, um, where is it, S capital C for wall slash floor slash stairs. We're going to capital C, then we're going to hit W for wall. Now you can see the cursor off here to the left right next to the river. Um, is there any water we want to enclose? Yeah, well, it's kind of a big wall, but um, we might be able to make it work. Let's actually, let's go into Dwarf Therapist, and let's go to our miners, because I want them to start carving some rock out, and I don't want them to start hauling stuff anymore. So we're going to just turn off all item hauling for them. There we go. That way, because we need to... Uh, oops, there we go. Uh, we need to uh, get some more rocks if we're going to build a wall this big. Uh, because right here by the lake, um, if you can see my little cursor right here, there's a small little pond right here, and eventually we can build a well right there, or we can channel the river into our fort. Uh, we'll save that for another day, so I think we're going to build a wall around this little pond right here. So, with the green cursor right here, we're going to hit the U button to make it bigger. You can see it getting big like that, and that's about as big as you can make it. So we're going to go ahead and hit Enter. And then we're going to use sandstone. So hit shift and then enter, and it's all going to be sandstone. Now, if you look in the top right, we have six idlers. As soon as we go out of this pause, um, it's going to go down to one idler because we have one child in our fort. And you'll slowly see these dwarves come up to the top with a, um, with a rock. And they're slowly going to be placing the wall for them to build right there. And while they're doing that, we only need 77 pieces of sandstone. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, have our miners start digging a little bit deeper so we can get some more rock. So we're going to hit I for up downstairs. I'm pretty sure that's what we're going for. Okay, cool. They're cutting it out. And then let's just, um, this is right underneath there. We'll probably just dig out a big little rock pit over here. Oh, tetrahedrite, yeah. All right, so we're going to hit the mine button and let's build a small little hallway. I like to have a little clean forts. Hit X to remove this little row over here. And then hit D for designation. And we'll just go and have them carve this little area out right here. We might use it for storage down the road. Um, but at least they'll be cutting that out, so we'll be getting extra stone. Extra stone to build this wall with. So let's go back up top. Oops. Went up one level. So you can see um, my mouse right here. You can see where small pieces of sandstone have been placed right there. And if you see all those little drops coming down, um, that's leaves are falling off the tree so it's it's not raining blood or anything but if you embark on an evil site it does rain blood sometimes so uh this, this game's crazy man all right so we're gonna go to b and then capital c and then hit w for wall we're gonna build an, uh, another section of the wall so remember to hit the u button to make it bigger and then i think that should yeah that's gonna butt up right against that wall and then we're going to hit sandstones again, shift enter. Because you can build it out of multiple items. Uh, let's go hit B. Let's say, actually hit W again. And I'm going to try not to get through these trees. No, we're just going to do, now we're going to hit the H button to go to the left. Or excuse me, the K button. There we go. Extend it out that way. Once again, hit sandstone. Hit the W button again. Hit the K button to make it bigger. And make sure it butts up right against that wall. Once again, hit the W button. And there's a few trees in our way right here, but we'll um, we'll go ahead and chop down these two trees because I want to bring it up through here. Well, at least cut down that tree right there. So let's back out. Let's go to a D for designation, designations. Hit T to chop down trees. And we're going to designate this tr little brown circle right here as a tree to be cut down. Now, our carpenter may be moving rocks right now, so our dwarves are going to be starting moving those rocks around the wall. Excuse me, let's take a drink of tea. Um, so they're going to be putting that... Um, whenever our carpenter dwarf gets done um, 
moving his last piece of rock, he should come over there and then cut down that tree for us. But yeah, so um, you don't really want to build a wall as soon as um, you get to the fort, just because you don't have that many idlers. But as soon as you get your first little immigrant wave, then you can get that up and running. But yeah, we're going to build a wall, and then we're going to build a drawbridge, probably wherever this pasture is. But one of the benefits to having such a big open wall like this is that we're going to be able to make a bigger pasture for our, uh, at least our goats. Uh, I like playing around with goats. Goats are fun. Uh, we should be getting some kid goats, hopefully. They start making some more goats. And our miners are coming along, cutting that out right there. It looks pretty good. And I think this is Tetrahedrite. Yep, that's Tetrahedrite. So actually, we're going to have them mine that out too. Hit Enter, go up, and then hit Shift to move over 10 spaces. And then we'll just go and even it up right there. That way, they'll start cutting that out. Another thing that you can do with your miners is go to D for designation, go D for mine. And at the very bottom, we see where it says A. You can hit designating all. That means whatever circle, whatever little square area you designate for them to dig, they're going to dig it out. If you hit the A button, you toggle it, it's going to they're going to auto mine ores. So let's say that we highlight just the tetrahedrite over here where my cursor is, um, and then I'm talking about the little spot down at the bottom where it says M and then A. You can see where it says auto mining ore in the bottom right. So they're just going to automatically dig whatever tetrahedrite vein there is, or if there's a gem vein or like some type of just mineral vein, they're going to start hitting that. Um, and then designating ore slash gems, only gems, and designating all is just going to cut it out right there. So, but yeah, they'll start getting going. It's going to give extra stones for our little dwarfs to get that up and running. And then let's build more sections of the wall. Hopefully our carpenter will uh, get that tree down. But at least we can build it around it. So let's go to B, and then capital C, then W for wall. Once again, we're going to hit the H button. Make it a little bit bigger. I think, yeah, that butt's up right there. Where, where are we? Oh, it's not going to allow us to build it because so we're going to hit the H button to make the wall a little bit smaller. There we go. So it's going to butt up right against the tree. We'll go and use sandstone again. And if you don't hit enter, um, shift enter, then you have to tap it a bunch of times. But you know it's okay. Hit the wall button. We're going to build around the wall right now. Um, hit the K button to make it a little bit bigger. Make that two sec two section right there. Hit W again. Now we're going to hit the U button to make it long like that. And that should bring it up, and there should be no trees in the way. Okay, yeah. Hit enter for all the sandstone. Hit W again. Let's start hitting U. Hit the W button again. And let's go ahead and we're going to make it one more sandstone and hit the wall button again. And I think we're probably going to build our, um, our drawbridge over on this side. So at least we'll go and try and get this walled out. Hit the K button to ex expand it to the right hit enter and then we might be actually getting low on sandstone yeah we've only got 10 more pieces left we're gonna hit wall again hit the K button and we're gonna do a little 3x3 three three. yeah we'll still have enough room right there so hit shift enter enter and then sandstone alright there we go and we we'll also need to wait for our miners to start digging out some more stone right there but yeah while they're doing that um. Oh, so one of the reasons why we enclosed that little pond over here is so that we're going to build a well. Uh, dwarves like to drink alcohol in the game, but one of the things that they will need is whenever they're sick or if we have some injured dwarves is a fresh water source. And so simply having this wall out here kind of keeps all the bad people out and then um, or the bad nature stuff out, and then they have a fresh water access. Instead of going to the river, uh, sometimes dwarves will get in a little trouble and they'll go in the river and they'll drown. Like, uh, sometimes you get a big migrant wave, you'll get a ton of fishers, and then they'll just, uh, <laughs> they'll just, uh, they'll get after it, man. They'll get out into the river, and next thing you know, you get a notification that, uh, your dwarves are, like, being attacked by something or eaten by a crocodile. I remember I embarked on this one spot one time, and my, my, my head dwarf, my manager dwarf, he, uh, he got eaten by a crocodile and died already, you know. It's like, oh, dang it, man. Come on, guys. <laughs> Let's try and survive. But one thing that we are hitting right here, and we'll go and highlight that, is some um, some uh, jewels right here, some gems. And we've got some uh, red flash opals. Amnesis over there. I'm probably butchering that. But um, once we get a jeweler up and running, you'll have that jeweler. They'll pick up those gems, and then our, gem, our jeweler will start to cut those gems. And then we can either trade them or um, start building stuff with them. Encrusting different uh, little furniture. And then let's go to B to build. And I think, let's see if we can't build a, um, a drawbridge. So let's go to G for bridge. 
let's go up here. Um, we're going to have one section off right here. So we hit K for three, and then um, U to go up. Actually, we'll go down one more. Actually, uh, M, there we go. And that'll be on level with our drawbridge right there, and we'll leave one section right there. Uh, one thing that you do need to do is, so we have this little 3x3 three three section right here of a bridge. Uh, you need to make sure, you know, you can change the height, change the width. You need to make sure you change the direction. So right now, you use the W-A-X-D-S. So we hit the W button. That means the bridge is going to raise straight up. I think that's the one that we want, because if you do A, it's going to raise, it's going to go up into the wall. Yeah. So we're going to hit the W button. So basically, it raises up. Yeah, I always gotta like think and make sure I'm doing it correct in my head. S is gonna retract, X raises downward. No, we need to do W. So it's gonna raise upward and that way it'll seal our wall off right there. We're gonna hit enter. And let's go ahead and build it out of sandstone so our wall looks good. Ooh, wow. They've updated the graphics pack since the last time they built little gates like that. It's pretty cool, man. Last time it usually just used to be a flat piece of rock, but that's a pretty cool looking uh, little gate right there. Oh, okay, so the outpost lays on from blah, blah, blah has arrived. Okay, so hopefully, let's see. Where are they coming in? Oh, there's some wild boars over there. I can't wait to get a trapper. I want to trap some of those pigs. Hey, Lanny, what are you doing? Joel, what are you doing, dude? <laughs> get out of get out of the river. Oh, I guess they're meeting them? Yeah, but he's got a bridge to build. Um, so basically, you're going to have these people come to your fort. Okay, you can see them right there. They just went into the fort, and they're going to be... Um, he's going to meet with us. Okay, let's discuss our dis our situation. So you're going to hit the enter button. Uh, the world is the same as ever. Yeah, they're pretty chatty in here. So basically, we're meeting with another um, civilization. So they're going to have stuff that they want us to build. At the same time, we can say, hey, we want certain things for you to bring to us so we can trade. So let's hit the A button to begin the discussion. Um, this is stuff that we want. So le I like to go for leather because eventually we're going to build stuff out of it. I like to get some like exotic leather. So let's go for um, what kind of leather do we want? Oh, polar bear weather <laughs> leather. Heck yeah, man. Uh oh. So we're going to go up to leather, and the way you cycle, okay, so there's a column on the left where it says leather, cloth, crafts, wood. So the way you cycle between those is using the plus button, and the minus button goes up. And then hit the right key button over there to increase the priority. So we're going to go down to polar bear leather. We definitely want some polar bear leather. We're going to put increased priority on that, and then something else exotic. Giant cave toad. Heck yeah, man. There's tons of cool stuff in here. Let's go one more cool leather thing that we want. Um... So there's guinea, turkey, wild boar, <laughs> giant earthworm, heck yeah. Okay, so we're going to do giant earthworm. So right now, we're going to tell this, these people that we're meeting with, hey, we want some giant earthworm leather, we want some polar bear leather, and we also want some giant cave toad leather. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Okay, let's make sure they're all high in priority. Now we're going to hit the plus button to go down. Uh, we're going to go down to metal. Uh, we do want some iron and I know we're going to be, hopefully we'll be able to get into it. We'll be able to dig some up. But in case we can't, um, it's good to have some iron come through and some steel. So we're going to place a heavy emphasis on steel. Ooh, ooh. Heavy emphasis on steel. That way we can uh, make some nice weapons with it and some armor. But yeah, I think steel and iron will be good. Let's go down. We don't really want any gems. Uh, seeds are okay. Put a little emphasis on those. Um, what else? And I usually I usually like trading for food because uh, once I get a good chef in there, like I love trading for a bunch of cheeses and meat and fish and stuff like that. And then um, I just like taking care of my dwarfs. It's always fun. So let's head down to the cheeses, actually. Uh, no, let's go down. Did we miss cloth? Yeah, let's go back up to cloth. Um, I usually trade for cloth because I usually don't get a cloth industry up and running. So let's go, uh oh, let's go pigtail cloth. Yeah, that'll be good. And let's go back down to the cheeses. Uh, let's go for some pig cheese. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, we're going to place a heavy emphasis on pig cheese. And um, let's go for some yak cheese. That sounds good. On our meat, let's go for... Uh, buzzard meat doesn't sound that good. And it's funny because these meats are going to be based on your local region. So sometimes you're going to see jaguar meat, you're going to see leopard meat, um, camel meat, but if you're in a different area, depending on what the local animals are, it'll be different meat. Giant prepared honey brain bee. Brain. Yeah, let's, let's get some of that. Okay. 
Let's scroll down. But yeah, that sounds pretty cool. Pretty Dwarf Fortressy right there. What else? Yeah, let's go Honey Honey Bee Brain. Bumblebee Brain. Where's some... This is going to be a crazy fort. And prepared Green Tree Frog Brain. <laughs> okay. And then let's grab some actual meat besides brain. Um... Oh, why not? Let's just go insect brains, dragonfly brain, and then beetle brain. That's pretty crazy. Any fish that we want. Um, we'll go some rainbow trout. Keep it a little real. Rainbow trout, and then dun, 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 plants, garden vegetables. So what I usually do on these is I just put a um, just a blanket priority on all of these. Uh, just because you can, you're, if you get a good brewer, he can turn those strawberries into like strawberry wine. These leaves, these hearts, um, your chef is going to use these to cook meals with. So I just like to have a nice little spread of those. I think that's it. Yeah, so we're going to hit escape for done. And then we're going to look over the documents. And so we are basically told them what we want. And this is what they're telling us what they have a higher priority for. They're going to pay good for. So they also want some... Hold on, there we go. I think this is ours. No, this is ours. Okay. Escape for Didon. And then finish picking in. Sorry, it's been a little minute since I've seen this. Okay, this is what they want. So, um, this is the screen I was looking to get to. So, they want battle axes. Uh, their highest priority they have is they want backpacks. <laughs> okay. Um, they also want tools. I think, or is that toys? I'm trying to... Looks like it's tools, so they want tools. So tools and backpacks. I don't, I don't know what mischievous stuff they're up to, but okay. Sounds good, man. Um, I, I try and remember that stuff, but to be honest, it's whatever. Okay, so now, yeah, this is going to be turned into a wall in a merchant episode, but I may stop it before we start trading because I think it's been around 20. I'll try to keep these videos around 20, 30 minutes. Um, but let's see if we have any rock craft. So let's go down to our craft dwarf right here. Go to Q. Okay, good. He did make some. And let's go right here and hit C to cancel tasks. So now our craft dwarf's not going to be doing anything. And then let's scroll back up. And we're going to go to the trade depot right here. And we're going to hit Q. And go to hit the R button. And trader requested at the depot. So next thing you know, Jolt's our trader. He's going to come down here and he's going to start making trades. We're going to hit the G button to move goods to the, uh, the trade area. So we're going to scroll down. We need to go down to um, crafts. And let's see how many crafts we have. There may not be. Uh oh. Oh, that's sweet. So this is where Dwarf Fortress gets really cool because they'll bring, they'll have like a stand, sandstone figurine of Jolt. So like if you have important dwarfs in your fort, your little craft dwarf will make little things out of it. So that's pretty cool. And then yeah, it didn't look like you got too much done, but you know we'll take that. Uh, your, as your craft dwarf makes more crafts, um, he'll definitely get a lot better. So we're gonna go through and hit the down button and just start hitting enter on all of these because we want all of them to start bringing that. And that's all we have to trade right now, so we're going to go and exit out. And unfortunately, we happen to be building our wall as all these dwarfs came. So we have no idlers right now. Um, we may... You have to go through and suspend it all. Um, yeah, we'll, hopefully we'll get a few dwarfs coming in. And I guess they're over there getting some water. I'm going to go ahead and turn on hauling for um, our miners again, because it looks like they don't have anything else to do. And I have both of these highlighted. That's why I'm doing all of their boxes like that. And apply the changes. Is there anyone else? Um, we're going to leave the farmers up and running. And then the master brewer. Is he not doing anything right now? Okay, yeah. We, you need to get to work, buddy. Break's over, dude. And then let's go over to Jolt. And he's trading. I think he, we're trading right now. We'll double check. Uh, yes, okay, so if you see the little mouse cursor, we're in the trade area. So as soon as our dwarves start bringing stuff, um, hopefully they'll start bringing it pretty quick. We're going to hit the Q button. Since our traders here, we're gonna allow, we can trade, so we're going to hit the T button. And they've brought most of this stuff over here. Okay, cool. And I think that's, yeah, we don't have a whole lot of valuable stuff right now. But I'll kind of show you what we do. Um, actually, excuse me one second. Let's wait a few more seconds to see if there's any more trinkets. But I think they've, yeah, it looks like they've brought most of the trinkets already. So we're going to go ahead and trade. So we're going to hit the T, actually hit Q, 
hit the T button to trade, and this is what we have to trade. Um, so let's, we don't, hmm, I think we're going to go down to food and see if they have anything. I don't think we really need any leather right now, but basically this is what they all come with their goods. Um, next time somebody else comes, our Rock Dwarf is going to have a lot more stuff to trade, and he's going to be a lot better, and our crafts are going to bring a lot more. So right now, let's see how much value we've got. We've got... Um, So we've got like $550. So if we just straight up trade with the trader right now, um, he'll get 550 currency, whatever that is. So I usually just give the trader like a $100 bonus, and usually they're pretty cool with it. Now, if you try and do like a margin of like 5 or $10, whatever the value is in the game, uh, the, the trader will get offended sometimes. And so it's just kind of one of those, like, okay, whatever, man. But we've got about 550 bones right now. Um... I don't know, what do we want to grab? But you can see these are all the different items. So you can actually trade for an entire bin. So we get this entire bit of bin of pigtail cloth, but I don't think we're going to do that right now. Uh, just, I think we're just going to get some food. I want to have some cool food over here. So let's go. Let's get the camel eye right there. Trade for five of those. And the way you cycle between the screens is the left and the right key. So that's how we're being able to go through. Um, let's go llama, carp liver, let's go dingo spleen, alpaca heart, let's go some char fish, molly fish, bullhead fish, perch, um, what else? Plump helmets, let's get some blueberries, bilberries, uh, bush leaves, garlic bulbs. Yeah, so basically it's almost like we're going to the grocery store. We could go pick all this stuff, but I like trading for it. It feels pretty cool. Let's grab some cheese. Let's grab some goat cheese. And let's grab some sheep cheese. Ooh, actually. So we'll remove that by hitting the enter button again. Now let's go down to reindeer cheese. That sounds pretty exotic. So the dealer pro the, our trader is going to be making like 180 off of us right now. So we're going to grab a few more items. But you can see as we, as we add stuff that it's slowly going to be taking away from it. I think we'll just grab a, <clears throat> a few more food stuff items over here. So we grab some, let's grab some more garlic bulbs. That way, it'll give our stuff, our, our chef, some stuff to cook with. Grizzly bear leather backpack. Oh man, that's a, I'd love to see that in real life. <laughs> this is pretty cool. And we'll just grab some more fish. Let's grab some rainbow trout, some pond turtle, uh, selfie and molly, prepared reindeer spleen. Yak spleen, wombat kidney. There's some crazy animals in here, man. And let's go for buffalo intestines. All right. He's making 100 bucks. I'm okay with that. So let's go and hit the T button to finalize it. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's what we press. All right, so he enjoyed it. He made a hundred bucks. We got, um, we traded him a bunch of our crafts, and then we got a bunch of cheeses. So um, that's probably all we're gonna do. We're gonna hit the Q button to say uh, trader. Hit the R button. We hit Q first, then hit the R button to say, hey, the uh, our trader is no longer needed at the depot, and then he'll leave, go do whatever he needs to do. But you can see different people come to your fort. So you'll have elves come to your fort sometimes, and I forget who else comes, but uh, yeah. So that's our first little trade thing. Uh, we have a food stockpile over here. And one thing that we do need to do is once we get this wall built, then we can get our food industry up and running. We have a few more idlers to get that up and run. Actually, we need to finish this wall. So we're going to hit uh, B to build, capital um, C for wall, and hit W for wall. Let's go KKK. That's 4K. Hit the K button four times to get that right there. And we're going to do sandstone again, and then hit the W button. U to build it up right there. Enter, then hit shift enter, and then hit the W again one more time. Sandstone, there we go. So it's going to be closed in. All we need is our little craft dwarf to uh, finish cutting down that tree wherever our carpenter is. You can see that they're hustling away, moving all those little sandstones over there. Well, a nice little wall built. Keep all the riffraff out, man. And then while we're up here right now, let's go and hit the I for zones, and we're going to um, not remove the zone. We're going to make a bigger zone. Actually, yeah, we're going to hit X to remove the zone. So we're going to hit the Enter button while it's highlighted, and then go up right there. 
All right, so that zone has been removed, and we're simply just going to make this a bigger zone for our animals. So we're going to hit the I. No, not I. Where is zone? Yeah, I for zones. There we go. So hit enter right here on this corner. I'm going to go down, shift down, and go right there. So that'll be a nice little pasture. So to set the parameters for the pasture, we're going to set N to make it a pasture, and then capital N to set the parameters. And we're going to put the um, goats... We're going to put the yak, the camel, the donkey, the cow, the baby llama. Oh, our dogs had puppies. Awesome. And the, oh, yeah, and we had a little baby goat. Awesome. Okay. So nothing really changed. We just had all those animals. They may kind of go inside a little bit, then people bring them back over there. But that'll be a bigger pasture for them to eat because you can't, I think, these little gray areas right here are sparse. It's just white sand, so that means the, um, the grass has been eaten down. So it's going to be a bigger pasture for them. And then let's see if our, the, how the progress on the bridge is. Waiting for construction. Needs architecture. Do we have architect? We have an architecture enabled, don't we? Yeah. Let's see what our. Uh, let's read the dwarves again. And Jolt is building a wall, so he's not building the. Uh, he's not building the gate yet because he's building a wall. But our wall's almost done, and I think um, we'll go ahead and end the video right there. Because once the wall gets complete, then uh, that tree, hopefully that tree will get chopped down, and we can build a whale. I'll show you how to build a whale. So they got two more little stones right there. Oh, some migrants have arrived. Awesome. That'll be a good thing to process for next turn. So I'm actually going to go and pause the video right now. That way we can get this last little immigrant wave done. Hopefully our bridge will get done. And then, yeah, this will be a good stopping point. So, all right, guys, if you enjoyed it, like and subscribe. Thanks, guys.